We've created quite a few serious sounding hypothetical military matchups in the past, so today we thought we'd tread lightly and create a kind of amusing celebrity deathmatch only with animals. Don't worry, no animals were hurt during the making of this video. The two animals seem fairly evenly matched, but at the same time they have very different skill sets. In fact, the question of who would be the winner of this potentially gruesome rumble in the jungle, or forest, has been the subject of widespread disagreement all over the web and beyond. We hope that by pitting together these two wonderful beasts, we might reveal a few interesting facts, or even provoke further examination. We might also remind our viewers that some of the species in this show might soon be wiped out of existence. Without further ado, welcome to this episode of the Infographic Show, The Gorilla vs. The Bear. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so that you can be part of our notification squad. First of all, you might be wondering what type of bear we are talking about. The polar bear, the grizzly bear, the black bear, or the very much vertically and horizontally challenged koala bear? There are eight species of bear, none of which are likely to get into a tangle with a gorilla due to a lot of reasons, but mostly because the two species don't hang out in each other's yards, so to speak. Today we'll choose the bear we think would make the most interesting gorilla bear battle. The eight species of bear are the asiatic bear, the black bear, the brown bear, the panda bear, the polar bear, the sloth bear, the spectacled bear, and the sun bear. There are also many more subspecies of these bears. None of these furry mammals are ever naturally involved in turf infractions with our largest great apes, although a few badly made videos attempt to show such a thing. There are two gorilla species and four subspecies. The two species are the eastern gorilla and the western gorilla. The eastern species includes the mountain gorilla and the eastern lowland gorilla. The western species includes the cross river gorilla and the western lowland gorilla. Although these great apes are residents of central Africa, and while similar, they do have noticeable differences regarding size, facial features, body hair, and skin skin tone. So, who should we choose? Why not the biggest of the bunch, which is the eastern gorilla? The biggest bear is the polar bear, but because this matchup seems too ridiculous to believe, we are going to say the grizzly bear. The grizzly sometimes grows as big as a polar bear, and, both aesthetically and geographically, the fight makes more sense. The eastern gorilla is the biggest of all primates. The adult males, known as silverbacks, are in the gorilla world pretty big dudes, weighing around 440 pounds and standing about 5 feet 5 inches. As for grizzly bears that have been endowed with a fairly large stature, they can weigh around 790 pounds and when standing can be as tall as 10 feet. We must note that there are many kinds of grizzly bears, all of which are kinds of brown bears, so it's possible to find one that makes the weight for a 440 pound weight limit in the animal fight of the century. A 400 pound grizzly would be a small one, but it would still have the advantage of coming to the fight legally equipped with a bunch of very sharp knives. Gorillas usually live a lot longer, they can escape being hunted by pesky people of course, at around 35 to 40 years old. Grizzlies generally live to about 25 years. For the purpose of the hypothetical punch-up, we'll pick two strapping adults in their prime. Ding ding, round one. The consensus is that the gorilla is one of the strongest animals on the planet, able to lift something close to 10 times its own body weight. That's around 4,400 pounds, enough to easily get a grizzly out of its stance. Again, it all depends on the size of the bear. An inland 440 pound grizzly might get thrown around with ease, but not so much a 1,300 pound giant coastal grizzly that would look like a refrigerator to a medium sized poodle. Grizzly bears are not as strong as gorillas, but when their strength was tested in a study at Montana University, it was found that they were very able to flip around a 700 pound dumpster. That's enough strength to throw its gorilla opponent from tree to tree. The important thing to note is that an equal weight gorilla would be relying on its superior strength, which has been documented in videos showing the primates pulling down trees and dragging humans as if they were nothing but twigs. The bear, on the other hand, would be relying on its armory, in other words, its killer claws and meat shredding teeth. A grizzly has 42 teeth, some of which were designed to rip through flesh. The gorilla, on the other hand, has 32 teeth with very large, scary looking fangs. That's part of the reason they have fangs, apparently, just to scare things. Unlike the bear, the gorilla uses its teeth to eat plants. This has a benefit though, in terms of our fight, and that is that some of those plants are pretty damn tough. Imagine biting through a bamboo shoot sandwich. Lists have appeared featuring the strongest animal bites, which is measured by pound per square inch or PSI. On one list, the grizzly bear came in 7th with a PSI of 1250, but the gorilla took 5th spot with a PSI of 1300. While the peaceful gorilla is said to be not too keen on fighting, if the bear got close to its family, you can bet those 1300 PSI giant fangs would soon come into play. Still, the bear also comes strapped with long claws that can grow up to 5 inches. For a gorilla, this would look something like a nightmare on nature street. It's been said that a grizzly bear can decapitate a moose with one swipe. While there is little evidence to back this up, most believers in the one swipe wonder bear cite a study by American biologist Dr. Jacob McDonaldson. The good doctor wrote that he had marveled such a bloody feat. A gorilla is pretty fast, able to run up to speeds of 25 miles per hour, but a bear can get up to speeds of around 35 miles per hour. Neither of our contestants are running away, so it doesn't really matter. The question is, who is the most agile? Science doesn't have the answers, but if you believe martial arts enthusiast and podcast philosopher Joe 
Rogan, the two are evenly matched with the gorilla possibly having superior speed and agility. The outcome would likely depend solely on if the bear could get a potentially life-ending strike in before the gorilla could get in close and pull the bear's jaw apart with its nimble fingers and very strong hands. Imagine attacking Joe Rogan with a knife in each hand, you could still end up the loser. A lot of emphasis has been put on the bear being a carnivore and the gorilla being an herbivore, but this shouldn't really matter as the gorilla is obviously capable of protecting itself and its family. In terms of diet affecting strength and bloodlust, some people say that Genghis Khan was a vegetarian. Unfortunately, this hypothetical fight has not been debated by many actual scientists and probably never will if they want to keep their day jobs. The closest to expert commentary out there seems a little biased as it comes from a Yellowstone National Park bear biologist. His assertion was, make no mistake, the bear would win. Astrophysicist and general expert in many things scientific, Neil deGrasse Tyson, was once asked who would win in this fight. His answer, to paraphrase him, was the bigger foe in nature generally comes out the winner. He did add, exceptions could change the balance of power, but his money was on the four-legged mammalian with the history of Mortal Kombat. One thing we know is that we want to keep all the gorillas we have, seeing that all species and subspecies are now critically endangered. The beautiful animals share 98.3% of their DNA with humans and are the closest to us after chimpanzees and bonobos. Humans are the greatest threat to gorillas, destroying their habitat and turning them into meat. The gorilla in question today, the eastern lowland gorilla, has a precarious existence. It's thought there are only about 4,000 of them left, while there are only around 880 eastern mountain gorillas living in the wild. On that note, we come to the end of today's show. We hope you've had fun comparing these two animal heavyweights. Which animals should we compare next? Let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other video called Bill Gates vs. The Average American. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time!